Stoneboy has risen to fame in Ghana as one of the best rising singers and rappers. He has previous beef with the likes of Shatawale, but nonetheless, Stoneboy is one of the biggest artists in Ghana right now and he is such a rising talent, his rise to fame has been something of a story. Welcome to the story of Afro Beats. I'm your host Mr Montgomery and today I'm going to be covering the story of one of Ghana's rising stars, Stone Boy. I got my Ghana top on, don't ask me where I got it from, I'm from Sierra Leone. I just got good friends in the right places guys. I've done some on Chatawale, I've done a documentary on Sakodier, I'm going to have some out on R2Bs. Guys, this is the story of Afrobeats, make sure you subscribe, leave a comment as well if you want me to do, leave a comment um, underneath the pinned comment. I'm gonna have a comment that's gonna be the first one pinned by me. Reply underneath there, because when you reply up like just separately, it gets a bit confusing and I have to pick up all the ones. And if you want the process to speed up, then make sure you DM me on Twitter or you DM me on Instagram or send me a message on Snapchat because that will fasten up the process. That shows that you really want it. But anyway, without further ado, guys, make sure you subscribe, leave a like. And let's get straight into this. Livingston Etse Sakila was born on the 5th of March 1988 in Ashaman, a suburb of Africa. He began singing in the choir as far back as grade 4. Young Livingston realised his love and passion for the creative arts, having successfully scripted and acted for the drama club of his second school. He studied at Methodist Day Secondary School the same year with fellow Ghanaian rapper Sakodie where they gained their high school leaving certificate and he began performing under the name as Stoneboy Burnington releasing a few tracks including his first radio song Makuma Well at the age of 14, young Livingston will be involved in a car crash that left him in a hospital for 3 months He continued his higher education at University of Professional Studies to earn a degree in marketing he had a stable underground popularity and was thereby able to release another title entitled Empress. He got a job working in the S24 studios and there he met Samini where he states they clicked instantly. He appeared on a popular rap competition called Kashura Level on Adam FM which featured Sakodie, Dr. Crime and made Samini like him and sign him to his record label Samini Music. Later on, he created his own label, BHIM Nation. In 2011, he'll go on to release tracks like Papi Stick Rhythm and jump on Kwa Kwase No More. Then he would release his first single under Samini Music entitled Climax. After dropping Ghetto Love featuring Irene Logan, leading him to release his first debut album, Grade One, earning him nominations at the Ghana Music Awards. In 2013, he released songs like No Sir, Give It To Them, and Onumade. with eight bass award nominations. In 2014, he dropped his second studio album, Necessary Evil, with tracks like Wicked and Pull Up and Not Again. Hold me down no more, not again. I gave it all, but you dropped it on the floor. Not again, not again, we're not going this no more. 2015 will be his best year to date as he would achieve 10 award nominations and eight wins, including a BET and a Ghana Music Award. He will go on to drop tracks like Come Over, Pull Up The Remix featuring Pato Rankin and my personal favourite, Go Higher. This has been the story of Stoneboy, one of Ghana's biggest artists. I'm your host Mr Montgomery and this is the story of Afrobeats. Make sure you subscribe, leave a like and also leave a comment as well. Follow me on my socials and if you want to promote your work or your brand or your producer, you want me to play one of your beats, leave an email. The email is going to be in the description. Until next time guys, I've been your host Mr Montgomery and this is the story of Afrobeats.